Howdy guys, welcome back to AOONI 2. For this video, we are going to be doing parts of floors 2 and 3. After floor number 1, it gets a little bit different where you're not stuck on one floor till you complete it. It's actually going to be backtracking between floors 2 and 3, and we're actually going to be going outside a little bit too. So just because of that, I'm not going to make a map this time around. I think if I try to make a map, it would just get way too confusing because there's just so many places we have to go and it, it's just, it'd be too much. It'd get way too messy. So instead, I'll just try to do everything as quickly and as clear to understand as possible. So the first thing we're going to do is talk to this bed and this is going to lead to a chase scene. And this guy right here, it's actually a mask we've never gotten before. It's the guy with the mustache. So, uh, man, talking about masks, too. I've been practicing a lot between my last two recordings, and... Let me just show this off really quick. I want to talk about this, but... I've been rolling these masks over and over and over again, and I'm still missing, what is it, like 10 masks? I must have rolled, like, 20 to 30 masks, and I haven't gotten anything new, so... I think there's either two things going on. One is all these masks missing are three stars and they're extremely hard to roll. Or two is some of these masks, you can't unlock them until you actually progress further in the game. So I think it's number two where I, act, I have to actually start making more progress in the game. So for that reason, I'm going to hold off on spinning any more masks until I either beat the game or I get a lot further. So I actually have 700 coins right now. So that's like... What is that, 35 rolls? I don't know. But we'll just save the coins till the end. I'll try to get over 1,000 and try to get all the masks. Anyways, um, I want to talk about this too really quick. Is uh, I actually just recorded this video. And then I was about to upload it, but I watched it back. And I'm having a lot of issues with my audio. I'm having an audio desync where everything I say is like 15 seconds before what's actually shown on the screen. And it's frustrating because I don't, I don't know what's causing that. I uh, get the detergent right there. And I don't know if it's related to the game lag, which I've talked about before, where your character actually starts walking slower. And then just to fix the problem, you have to, to pause it and then get out of your menu and it should fix the problem. I don't even know if that's a problem exclusively for me. If you guys are playing this game too, let me know if that's a problem for you. Because it's driving me crazy. And my file too, it's not... It's not a, a 15 second audio lag throughout the whole video, but it's just certain parts. If it was the whole video, it'd be a lot easier to edit and fix, but it's just kind of fluctuating, lagging the audio back and forth. So if it does it again, I'm sorry. It's, it's going to be hard to watch and hard to listen to, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Anyways, we got the scrub brush and we got the detergent. So just use that on the scrub brush and then use the scrub brush on the wall. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, let me just show what this wall looks like before you do it. It's got these four weird stains. And after you use the scrub brush, it's going to say left, right, right, left. And that is going to be the help for the first kind of difficult puzzle. There's these two computers right here, so just look at them in the correct order. Left, which is three, one, seven, and then nine and that's the answer for the first number puzzle and there's gonna be so many more number puzzles uh this game it it continues to get harder and harder it's in fact this is probably the toughest game i've played on this channel it starts getting extremely difficult at least for me because i'm not really that good at puzzles anyways uh here we have this room, and if you take a look in the top right-hand corner, there's actually a wall that looks like you should be able to break it. And we still have the hammer, too, in our inventory. But you're not able to break it, and as soon as you grab this item right here, it's going to be a chase scene. There's going to be a monster popping out. So, uh, you know what? Let me save, too. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> uh, let's do, I think file number 8 is okay. Okay, so this item right here, it's going to give us a, what is this? Screwdriver! And then, yeah, just get ready to run. Alright, 
Come on, go, go, go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, I switched the mask too. That guy is huge. I do want to show all these off, but let's go. I don't know if I've shown. I forget who I've shown. Let's go to this guy, this jolly looking fellow. But yeah, man, these puzzles, they start getting so difficult. And I've, I've played a lot. I've actually gotten pretty far. I don't know how long this game is, but it's, uh, I'm, I would say I'm like over an hour's worth of videos I'm going to post that I've gotten to. But right now I am so stuck. Uh, what do I have in my inventory? Let's see. Let's go to the screwdriver. Let's go to the bathroom. So this bath uh, bathroom right up here, I don't know if I've been in here yet, but if you look at this mirror, you can just see there's little screws on the top and bottom, which I thought when I first looked at this mirror that something was going to pop out if I looked at it long enough, but that's not the case. So just use your screwdriver, and that's going to give us a balcony key. And uh, you know what the puzzles actually start doing? I don't think I'm going to show it in this video. But some of the number puzzles, if you guess the wrong number, they start uh, they start penalizing you where monsters will pop out if you put the wrong number in. Right here, we have another one of those walls. Just use your hammer on it. And I think this is the last time you're going to be able to use your hammer. Let me just take a look at my inventory here. Yeah, so the hammer's gone now. We're not... We're not going to be able to use that again. Um, let me watch this really quick. I, just, I want to start gathering as many coins as possible. So let me just watch this advertisement and then I'll cut back once it's over. Okay, got the coins. And while we're in this room, let's grab this mop. What is this? Oh, well, it's going to be a long pull. And then this room right here, it says something like, Door is on the verge of breaking. It feels like it can be open, but I can't open it. So we're going to come back there in just a second, but let me save just in case, too. There is a couple more mandatory chase scenes coming up. So again, just save as often as possible. Uh, file number eight. Okay. And then right in this room, we meet a... Uh, what's her name? Mika. And if you don't remember back in the beginning of the game, we actually came here with, I think, five or six different people. So as of now, we've met Mika, we've met Takashi, and then also the teacher. And then we asked to take Mika with us, but she says, no way, we might encounter that blue monster. So yeah, she's just going to stay in this room. And she never does join us, but the good thing about having her in this room, for whatever reason is if one of the monsters is chasing you, just run back to this room and it will not enter this room for the time being. So for the time being, if something's chasing you, just run back to the room with Mika and it'll leave you alone. Okay, oh shoot, you know what? I forgot something. Let's go back to the room with Mika. Uh, there's one more item you have to grab. It's gonna be a little cylinder. I think it's right here in this, what is this, a bookcase? I don't know what this is. But yeah, it's a metal cylinder and if you look at the picture closely, you see there's a little screw right up top. And that's going to be an indication to use your screwdriver on this thing. And that's one thing about this game is there's actually going to be a couple items coming up where you have to pay attention to the picture of them. So anything you grab, take a good look at it because there is some hints on some of the pictures. That's actually where I got stuck in this game coming up here in a little bit. <laughs> I've been stuck a few times now. This game it really does get hard. It uh it picks up its picks up its difficulty. See that monster it it just stopped chasing me in this room. And then keep in mind there's this little thing right down here. But we can't do anything with that quite just yet, so there's gonna be I think two or three items to grab up here. And it's pretty obvious what to do with the painting, just put it in this picture frame right here. And this is one of those puzzles that's so ridiculous. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, put the painting on the picture, and, and for whatever reason, it seems like it was stuck inside the frame. Something pops out of the frame. It's the plastic card. 
So now that we have that, there's one more item to grab in this room, which is going to be something from the piano. But I actually got stuck here because if you talk to the piano, it says it's missing a key or something. What does it say? One of the keys is not sounding. So I didn't know what to do with that. But what you actually have to do is walk around to the open side of the piano. And if you take a look at it, it shows you a picture of one of the wires broken. So after seeing that, it's pretty obvious what to do. Just use your pliers. Grab the wire, and that's going to let us fix that little mechanism that lets you slide the car to unlock this door right here. So, easy enough, but you got to check out everything in this game. And uh, <laughs> it gets worse. Some of the stuff coming up, it's so hard to see. It's it's ridiculous how, how, uh, how hidden it is. But we'll get to that in just a second. So, oh, you know what? Before I do this, let me just show this off. If you talk to this thing and look at it, you can see one of the wires is missing. That's why I'm using the piano wire. Go to your menu, use the piano wire, and then after that you're going to be able to uh, slide this card right here. Plastic card, use. Okay, perfect. I will say this game too, it does a really good job of not having to backtrack as much as some of the other games I've played. What I mean by that is some games you'll get an item and you'll have to backtrack way across the map. But for this game, for the most part, once you're in a specific area, everything you have to do is going to be in that area alone. You're not going to be having to run back and forth that, that much, which is nice. I like that. So once we're in this room, there's just one more item to grab, and that's going to be the... the uh, oh, shoot. Yeah, you got to use the pole right here. It says you can't reach it, so just use the pole, and that's going to get you the crowbar. So let me cut back to the room just to save time. I'm going to cut to the room where we open that safe for the 20 coins. Okay, back in this room. Use your crowbar on this door. And yeah, here we have the teacher again. And if you remember back to, I think it was the first floor, when that blue monster popped up, she just totally abandoned us. She just split. Stupid teacher. Thank goodness we were able to meet again. Yeah, thanks a lot. Miki and Takashi are both safe. Takashi is hiding inside a locker one floor below, so I think he's safe. Inside a locker, then how about Takuro? Seems like he's looking for an exit. I'll go look for him. I'm worried about Takashi. I'll go check on him. So there's two options right here, and I've tried both options in my test run, and it seems like they both lead to the same thing. Now, I don't know if one of these options actually does something different down the line, but for the time being, they both do the same thing. And just to show it off, if I put go with Teach after all, she says something like, thank you, but I'll be fine by myself. Go look for Takuro. So we got to do it anyways. And if you actually go back and look at Takashi in the uh the cabinet he's hiding in the teacher's not there so i don't know where she's at at the time being but she does not go to takashi like she says she's going to but anyways oh shoot go 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 let me get away from this guy all right there we go but anyways, this map coming up that I'm about to go into outside, I, I don't know what it is about this map. I think because it's bigger and because it's raining outside, but it is the laggiest map in the game. Look how slow my character's walking. And it's a big map too. It's huge. So it's going to take forever. So I think just because of that, I'm going to edit some of this stuff out. Uh, while I'm walking around on this map, I'll probably just cut that part because... We're going to be having to walk back and forth on this map for a long time. And here we see Meek is actually screaming. So uh, let me pause here. Well, I'm going to get this chest really quick. And then I'm going to pause and I'll cut back to the room right before Mika. All right, look at this thing right here. Look how creep it is looking over and looking at us. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Ah, uh, damn monster. Over here. 
And now we got to run away while this thing is chasing us. We're going to try to lure it away from Mika. So not too difficult. Just run as fast as you can, and hopefully it loses interest. Oh, shoot. I haven't saved either. Oh, please don't die right here. Please don't do this again. Uh, hopefully. Oh, my gosh. It's so close. All right. Thank God it lost interest right there because I would have been cornered. So let me save definitely, and then I'm going to cut back to Mika in just a second. So uh, here we are back in Mika, and I don't know if she's actually dead right now or if she's just passed out. But it says it seems to be holding something. I think they meant to say she's, she seems to be holding something. But I, I think it's just a grammatical error there. This game actually has pretty good translation. You can understand everything they're talking about, unlike certain games I've played before. But no, they did a good job on the translation. It's uh, it's pretty spot on. So we grabbed from Mika. We got a, uh, a valve, and we're actually going to be using that in the room that we were in previously, the one I was just in. And this is going to give us access to drain the pool. And for this game, you actually have to drain the pool and fill it up several times so uh yeah that's what it looks like before you actually put the valve on so let's put it on item and i think i think yeah let's train it now because i think there is an item we can grab right now at the bottom of the pool so let's train that and go outside yeah there it is okay Okay, perfect. And like I said, this, this is really where the game starts getting difficult. Everything else I've shown previous to this was way, way easier compared to everything that's coming up. It gets, it gets way, way harder. And um, what did I just get? Uh, let me take a look here. Okay, we got the changing room key. Let me turn that down because the rain's kind of noisy. So I might actually need help with this game, um, I might ask for help in future videos. I've got enough, uh, I know enough of this game to get probably the next two or three videos out, but right now I'm completely stuck and I have no idea what to do. But this game does have hints. It says hint right here, which I have tried the hints for places I've got stuck, but they do not help whatsoever. In fact, when I get to the point where I got stuck, I'll show you what the hint says. Uh, then uh, I'll talk a little bit about that and how I figured it out. But there is actually a chase scene coming up right here. So let me save. Let's do file number eight. And uh, then it's going to be popping out of this wall right here. That's kind of cracked. Once you start getting closer, there it is. <laughs> I got to change this guy. I'm getting tired of him. My favorite's still the octopus or the jellyfish by far. Uh, let's go up right here. All right, easy enough. But if you look at a, if you look at the little icon, let me just go to it really quick. There is so I have I have this one, I have this one, I have this one, and this one. But there's one right here I don't have. And then there's also the guy with the mustache we saw at the beginning of the video. So there's two more I know about, but I'm still missing like nine or ten. But anyways, um, yeah, let's go in this changing room right over here. And I think there's two items we have to grab. And then there's also going to be this hidden room right up here. It's kind of hidden, but there is a room right there. If you talk to it right now, it says something like it's missing the doorknob, so we don't have access to it yet. But we'll get there. Okay, swimming bag. So, um, let me cut back to the room with the valve really quick. Okay, so I accidentally just opened the door while it wasn't recording, but that changing room key is the key for this door right here. And there's going to be a couple things to do here. First and foremost, there's a locked locker right here. And this is where I got stuck. This part right here, I stuck for about an hour and a half trying to figure out what to do. 
And if you take a look at this thing, it says negative 10. But that doesn't really help us. If you try to put in 10, negative 10 right here, it doesn't work. And I even went as far as to try to convert it to Celsius, convert it to Fahrenheit, just because I didn't know what else to do. And that doesn't work either. And I'm, I'm like thinking to myself, the game's never going to do that. I don't even know why I tried, but I was just stuck. I had no idea. But before we do that puzzle, let me just fill up this bottle really quick. Um, yeah, let me do that really quick just to get it out of the way. So that empty bottle we just got, what you want to do is fill the pool back up. And then um, just go fill it up with water, which I'm going to do really quick because it takes a while. So just fill up the pool, talk to the water with the bottle, and then drain the pool again. So I'm going to do that really quick and cut back. Okay, so all I did again is just talk to the water with the bottle to fill it up and then drain the pool again. So there's there's no water in the pool right now. And then after that, this is where I got stuck. And what I tried to do, just a couple things I tried to do. I tried going back to previous floors to look for hints. I explored everything there is to explore. In fact, I even tried using this water to splash on Mika to try to wake her up. I tried using the water on Takashi to make him less scared. I tried everything. But finally, oh, you know what? Let me show this too. So I also tried using this hint feature to try to give me a hint, which I don't usually like doing because I like to figure things out for myself. But I was stuck. I had no idea. So I tried using this hint. And let me just show you what it says. It does make you watch an advertisement. So let me cut back once the advertisement's over. This is what the hint says. I need to know the locker's password. Let's return here if I find it. Which I already knew I needed the locker's password. That's not a hint whatsoever. So I think the hints, what they do is they tell you what you have to do, but they don't give you a hint on how to do it. And there is also a walkthrough site, which I did not look at this because that's, that's more, that's kind of like completely going against it. So I'll only go to that if I have to, but... Again, if I get stuck, I could probably just ask you guys for help. So what you actually have to do for this puzzle is go to your items. And if you look at the swimming bag, it says 0626, which it just didn't occur to me to look at the swimming bag. I don't know why. Um, I just didn't. It didn't occur to me. I don't know. So once I saw that, I got all excited. And I was like, oh, thank God I figured it out. But even... 0626, that's not the answer. You have to look at this thermometer too. And then it says negative 10, so you just got to subtract 10 from 0626. And that is 0616. And it only gets harder, which after I figured it out, it's not that difficult, but there's just some puzzles that don't click for me. Again, I'm not the best puzzle solver. Um... But you really got to think out of the box sometimes for games like these. Uh, let's just be lazy and go in and out of this door to try to get this guy to lose interest. This is the easiest way. It takes longer. But just kind of wait till he's close to you and then go back in the previous room. And then exit that previous room as fast as possible. And then he loses interest. So again, this part right here is the second part I got stuck on for like a good 30 minutes. And looking back, this part's probably even more difficult to figure out because it's so hard to see what to do. The last item we just got was that flathead screwdriver. And if you look in the pool on this side, the right-hand side, there's, a, there's this tiny little box right here that you can't even see. Look how small it is. I don't even know if you guys can see it because sometimes the video quality goes down when I upload it. But if you look really, really close, there's this tiny little box right above uh, the main character. I mean, something does pop up if you talk to it, but it's just, it's so hard to see. So if you look at it better, it's got the flathead screwdriver as opposed to the Phillips. So just go in your items and switch them out. And then that's going to be the flathead screwdriver and then use that on this box right here. Um, 
And then if you look at the the box once the flap's off. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> I did that wrong. Damn it. Uh, let's go back to this. Okay, flathead screwdriver use. And then use the flathead screwdriver. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now look at it and you see a little bowl that's empty and you just got to pour the water from the water bottle in this thing. And uh, after that, we get the stairway key and we also get the, the bottle back, which we're going to use the bottle again. But for the time being, let's go to the stairs, which is going to be all the way to the left on this map. And I think I'm going to cut the video right here. Again, I, I know like the next probably 40 minutes to an hour of recording. But this is a long game. It's a very, very long game, which is good. And let me just say, I, I know I might be complaining a lot through these videos, talking about different stuff like lag and, and all this different stuff. But this game is amazing. I'm having such a blast recording this game. So uh, props to this game developer. I really, really like this game. But that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.